You got it? You running through, Phil? You got anything cooking up? I'll test for the tip-off, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's I hope we're on the air, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the, the tip-off. Tip over, good day, Dad. Nicole, that's the timeline over in the far corner over there. The Amy's back to Nicole. Looks around. Into McDonald, loses the ball out of bounds. Turnover goes to Hibbig. Ani with the ball. Down to Carney. Takes a three-pointer. No good. Chisholm ball. Up off the top to Bankward. Possession goes to Chisholm. McDonald with the ball. Coming down the close side here. Dibbling down at the close corner. Takes it into the basket. Stops. Puts it up and in. No good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up. Down. Pawn it. Two zip. Looks like Joel got hit in the nose. 30 seconds way. into the game. Joel got hit in the nose on that. Into Sadovich. Sadovich loses the ball. Picked up by Ava. To the crowd of McDonald. McDonald taking the ball down the floor. Over in the corner. Into Ted. Ted puts the ball up. No good. Over the top. Rebound goes to Ani. Ani coming down to the middle. Into Carney. Carney puts the ball up. No good. McDonald with the rebound. Out it comes. McDonald over to Amick. Back to McDonald. Joel taking his time down across the timeline. Looking around, comes over here to the right, stops, puts up a 20-footer, no good. Tries with the rebound over the top of the pin. Four to nothing. Four to nothing late for the streak, 6-14 remaining. Kurchowski with a shot, air ball! His arm cramped up on him, missed the whole basket. There we go. All right, here comes McCole, that's the timeline. Over to Amick in the far side, McCole cuts through. Back out to Kreis, takes a three-pointer, no good. Sadovich with the rebound. That's not his shot. He's an inside Carney. man. Carney going inside. Oh, nice Joel, oh, the ball. Ball. Joel Amick ends up with the ball. Amick over to Ripper. Over to LaCole. LaCole cuts the timeline. Pass it to McDonald. McDonald stops. Puts up a 20-footer. Bang! Yeah, hey, three points. And we got a score of 7-0. Seven seven Two minutes seven. into the first Six quarter. Six so far remaining. Looks like McDonald teasing, puts up a three-pointer, no good. There's Craig with the rebound on the other side. Out to LaCroix on the close side. Down to Amick. Amick gets off balance, throws it back in. Possession will go to Yibbing. I'll tell you, Holly, there's a lot of tension in this gym tonight. It's just a basketball game, basically. It's just a game, but it's a good rivalry. I think the, the, the big difference, Phil, is going to be here, the inside game tonight, with Chisholm tonight having the definite height advantage in here. We're going to see that make a difference. I think we have already with the rebounding. Hibbing's only getting one shot on their own basket. I think if Ted Kreis is on the inside on the offensive boards, uh, he'll be a lot more effective than taking that 10 to 20 push shot outside. It's Kachowski with a turn around 10 footer. It's down. Hibbing with the first two points, seven to two, 520 left in the first quarter. Here's McDonald, stop, puts up a 20-pointer, no good. Carney stops, puts up a 10-pointer, in and out. Tries with the rebound. Carney's been called. Carney's put over to Joel, a little bit behind him, a little miscue there. I was at the Saturday's game and uh, Kuchowski, he was a little cold, and so was Carney, and the same thing's happening right now. We hope they remain cold for at least a couple quarters. Arnie into Kuchowski. There's a 15 footer from the top of the paint. It's good, seven to four. That's not the guy to worry about, Ali. We shouldn't have to worry about that guy. Amick over to McDonald on the far side, puts a little move on, dribbles between his legs, puts the ball up, found it, three more. I'll tell you how they are. Kuchowski is guarding him, but I'll tell you, it's of no avail. And there's the first ball of the he game. If he comes any closer to him, he's going to drive the bucket on him. He's even got his number. It's just a matter of keep putting it up in the air. Let's keep shooting and rebounding. All right, giving possession out of bounds from the center bench. Block. Nice by Christ. What a nice block in there. Out to call. Still coming down the center, across the timeline, taking it right into the middle, putting up a 10-foot shot, no good. Hit back up, no good. Oh, oh, good. Stand by Carney on the far side, over to Arnie. Passing to Kurchowski, one take. Puts it up, tipped by McDonald, no good. Coming down with the rebound is Amick. 
Emig has the ball. Come on. Out to LaCour. LaCour comes to LaCour, taking it all the way into the basket. It's down. It was four minutes left on the first quarter. 12 to four. Chisholm is taking a straight We're halfway through the first period. Strikes the eight-point lead. Here's Adi passing in to Kurchowski. Over to Cardi for a three-pointer. No good. There's Rupert with a nice rebound. Down to Kreis, over to McDonald's, stops, puts up a 25-footer. No good. Kreis with the rebound. Ah! It's good. 14 to 4. Looks like it's tipped off the Chisholm player over there, and Ruby will regain the possession here of the ball. With 340 left to go in the first quarter, it's 14 to 4. Excellent first four minutes, all we we got a long way to go yet. That's right, but I, I think right away, Phil, again, as I mentioned already, the, the height difference, especially on the inside, both offensively and defensively, is going to take its toll. There's Audi with a three-pointer. They don't stop those shots all the way from the outside. You don't have to worry about rebounds. Here comes McDonald. Out here, 20 feet, takes it into the paint, stops, puts it up, bang, down it. It's two, 18 to seven. Ani having to shoot over, Rupert! Yep, and another the ball. ball with the ball. Here comes Dean with the ball, leading to two guys, and we've got and our first ball against Nibbing. On Carney. A down, one and the wild out there. A down, the language I see out there, Holly, I don't like it. Just a basketball game. Learn to control the tempers out there. It goes a long pass over into McDonald, turns Ron out here from three-point land, with the fake on pass across court to David. McCall puts it up, no good, tries with the rebound, just taking it in, no good, good rebound, puts it up, no, got it, that is one to turn it back here tonight, yes, again, on the track. There's Kuzi taking it in, putting it up, no good air ball, and there's Price on the other side, getting a rebound. I tell you, certain things I don't like, how we have to keep it to myself for the first quarter. All right, there we see uh, so far, Ted Kreis doing one woman's job on the inside, or offensively, def defensively. Kreis in the McDonald, there it is. Two more, there's that inside beam I talked about. There he is, let's keep it inside. 20 to seven, two minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Teasing with a 25-footer, followed it at three, 20 to 10. First substitute going into the game will be for Chisholm. Thompson going in for Amick. Now we're getting a little height in there. Now we're just a little bit yeah. taller, are we? And if uh, Thompson stays on the inside, this will be devastating. That's for sure. All right, Chisholm with the ball out of bounds. Rupert and McDonald on the far side. Crossing the timeline. Puts up a 25-footer. No good. No, no, no. Second quarter. He's the one that tripped over his own feet, though. Well, I just hope he didn't get hurt. Though. That's all right. No fall, though. I hope he didn't get hurt because he's one heck of a good ball player and uh, he's always hustling out to prohibiting. You're certainly going to miss him if he is uh, out. He's fine. He's a tough kid. He'll be fine. Anything we want here, are So it's 155 left to go here in the first quarter. We've got a timeout and play with uh, Hibbing Guard, uh, Bubba Carney. We have a few minutes to thank some of our uh, sponsors Casey's Rexall Drug, Valentini Supper Club, and Points of Plugs as Gray Hick Auto Parts, Iron Country Realty, a new advertiser, John Abraham. Flowers by Dorothy, Ra John Raleigh Logging, Babe Sporting Goods, Patrick Valentini, Attorney at Law, Cinco Excavating. When the cream rises to the top, it's Gornick's Big Dollar. A special thanks to Melvin Budrak for his donations. And Mike, Dr. Mike Quirk, Chiropractic Care. We'd like to let you know, fans, that we will be unable to broadcast so far I've heard is the district basketball games for assessing us a fee, I think, and I can't say for sure right now, roughly $500. I'd like to get back on the air and maybe uh, we could 
collect some money to put these three games on the air, and same thing with region tournaments. We'll be unable to uh, broadcast any of these games because this is the fee that they have set by the uh, Region 7 Committee and the District 28 Committee. I should have more, more information by the next basketball game. That's my mistake that on the injury there, it's, uh, it's uh, Ani that got hurt, not Carney. But it really doesn't make any sense because Zippy cannot afford to lose either one of those two fine ball players. They're both playmakers and hustlers on the team. Up there next to David Lacone, two best guards on the range. There's Kearney with a good penetration move, and there he goes in, gets his own rebound. You can see the kind of hustle that he has. Out to Thiesing, out there on the far side. A, a little difficulty getting ball to the inside, but he's dead. He's he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. for two, 20 to 12. It's one to one to the pass the ball. Okay, here we go. McDonald with the ball, takes it into the feet, stops, puts up a little ace jumper. It's down, two more. I'll tell you how it, McDonald makes it look so easy, but it's not that easy out there. It's a nice clinic on basketball. Squares up to the bucket, and then it goes. Okay, here's Steezing over to Kearney with a three-pointer in and out. No good. He got it with the rebound on the close side here. Takes it down across the timeline. Looks at the basket stops. Puts up a three-pointer. Bang! Found it! Hot He's hot tonight! 25 to 12. 13-point lead with 45 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Steezing with a 20-footer. No good. There's McDonald and Christ both getting up for that rebound. 34 seconds remaining in the first quarter. 13 point lead for the streaks. That's right, they're seizing. Got caught for a block with the body. Second team fall. <laughs> That's his first fall and team fall number two for Hibbing with 28 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Chisholm 25, Hibbing 12, Chisholm has a possession. Nice pass in to McDonald but doesn't get the shot. There's nice pass on the floor, Kearney with the easy two points. 25 to 14 with 17 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. That's exactly what they practiced against yesterday, and they got stung. Five seconds left to go, Christ takes it in, puts it up off the glass, oh. bang, there it is. 27 to 14, and there's the end of the first quarter. Next quarter, quarter of basketball, the Chisholm Blue Freaks, And giving 14. Chisholm fans are giving their team a standing ovation here, which they well deserve. Oh, we have to think it's going to be hard to maintain this type of pace. The streaks are capable of doing it, but it's very difficult. Look for the Blue Jackets to come back in the second quarter. I tell you, I, Phil, I really don't think so tonight. I, this is one time I'm going to stick my head out on a limb. Uh, Chisholm came here to play tonight, and I don't think they're going to relinquish anything. It's going to be 110% right till the last buzzer. Well, Ali, by this time I agree with you 100%. I hope it happens. Last time, remember, I had that gut feeling, and what happened? Bango, we lost in overtime, the first game. I'll tell you, I feel pretty good right now, but when we're always ahead, I always feel good. Here we are for the second quarter, 13 point lead by the streaks. Hipping Blue Jackets with the ball. Hi, Carney with the ball. Crossing the timeline. Over to Yuba. Out to Carney. Over to Thiesing. Thiesing drives over in the right hand side, then pops back out, passes way across court to Yuba. Into Kurchowski, puts up a 10 pointer, 10 footer, no good. Right. Good effort by the Blue Streaks. Good hustle Either way, they lost the ball and they tried. Good hustle by Chad to try and save that one. All right, here we go. Kearney with the ball. Out at the top of the three-point land. Huber with the ball out to Kearney. Kearney over to Thiesing. Thiesing takes the three-point shot. It's foul, but uh, uh, get a foul here. 
Kearney's three-point try. David McCall picks up his first team fall. First ball, third team fall on the blue streak. Have a little conference with the officials. Could have been after the shot, Holly. I don't know. We're going to wait for the shot. We've got a double fall situation here, Phil. Blue backing in someplace underneath the call at the same time. We have a double fall. I think they're going to shoot the free throw on that one. There is also a foul called on number 31, Cody Kutowski on the rebound. It's a false double foul situation. Please will shoot the two free throws. And due to alternate possession, Chisholm will take the ball out of bounds. Okay, uh, I haven't seen that call for a long time, are we? Teasing hits his first one, making it 27 to 15 with seven and a half minutes left to play. And he hits his second one, making it 27 to 16. Chisholm gets the ball out of bounds after the fall. If there is a doctor in the house, Will the doctor please report to the cafeteria? Any doctor in the house, please report to the cafeteria. Okay, here we go. We're going to McDonald's. Down the far side over there. Kuchelski playing him defense. There's a pick set by Tries, a tip away by Kearney. McDonald passes into LaCole. On the far corner, back gets the move. He's a Tries. Tries almost loses it, he does lose it. Tipped away, here comes Carney with the ball. A little head fake in there, two head fakes, stop. Nice ball. block. No good. Oh! That would have been very questionable all the way in any arena. Except I'll question that one anytime. You like, can watch uh, that on the video. It was a beautiful block. block. Which means it'll put Bubba Carney to the line with for two free throws here. No, I guess he wasn't shooting. He must have called it. Before, he fouled him before the pass, they say. He passed him before the, the pass. pass, not the shot. You're right. They get it out of bounds. Here we go. Passing way over to Huber on the far side for a three-point shot. No good. The off teasing out of bounds. Chisholm gets possession. With a little sponge that Okay, here we go. There we go. Taking the ball down across the timeline. Over to Thompson. Thompson into McDonald. Over to LaCole. Go in the far corner over there, looking around. Dribbles back out on top. Check to see what's going on. Over to Thompson. To McDonald. He was, he was looking at it. Side footer. No good. Here comes Tipping down the floor. Three on one. Nobody back. 27 to 18. It's only a nine-point nine game, are we? We're not playing smart basketball. Thompson over to LaCole. LaCole into McDonald's. That's a little smarter. Up. There it is. Roll automatic. Take the four foot. 29 to 18. Sadovich with the ball down in the corner. Here's he Huber. just traveled all the way. Into Kuchelski. Turn on jumper. No good. McDonald ends up with the rebound. Carney on the post. in the dust. dust. No doubt about that. It goes McDonald takes it into the paint. There it is. It's it. Ted. Count it. That's basketball. Oh, oh, what a nice I'll play. I'll tell you that. Joel was behind his back. They made that stab move. And boom, inside we went. There's Kearney with a shot. No good. Gets his own rebound. Out here to teasing. Teasing into Kraczowski. Doesn't know what to do with it. Tries to drive inside. Stops. Puts up a jump shot. Oh. And Chisholm will get the ball. 31 to 18 with five and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Here we go, Holly maintaining a 13-point lead. 531 remaining. Pick. Looper moved. Good call by the officials. Yeah, you gotta be careful about setting that set. Once you're set. Once you're set, you got to keep those feet still. Evidently, the official thought he moved it uh, because he called a blocking call. Gordy Bryan Thompson back in for Chisholm. That's our uh, fifth uh, team fall, so put Chisholm to the line for a one and one for the remainder of this half. Uh, Makes a difference, Howie. Well, it's that one and one. It's your kid. And they're good free throw shooters. 
Except tonight, Eric has McDonald with the rebound. He missed the first one. Pass all the way down to LaCroix. LaCroix stops, puts up a 12-footer. No good. Rebound by Kearney. Kearney comes out with that. Quickly down. Double, double behind the ball. Well, puts he do. It's easy. Puts up a... Doesn't do much good. Good. McDonald with another rebound. McDonald takes it down. He's got a four-on-two situation. Phoenix. Evidently, he said it was a good block. McDonald's got the ball. Well, how are you? Hitting fans have something to yell about anyway. Three quarter, bang, no good. Teasing with the ball. Down to Kuchowski. Two points. 31 to 20 with four. 44 left. Harney looking bad tonight. Trying to steal the ball. Infield drive. Yes, yes. up two on it. Doesn't look good. It's not working. Two punting shots tonight. You might get a few, but that's missing. about it. Nice pass. These stab moves don't work, Howie. No. Not against a good basketball win. team. Chicago Lakes, maybe. Sadovich with a shot off the glass. Oh, 12 foot yeah. shot. 33 to 22. There he is, reaching again. Lead. Bad pass. Howie, where are our worst enemies? Yeah. Easing, driving in on the baseline. Easing's a little intimidated there, Holly. Yeah. Unless he's got the shot from out, he won't go in very much. Easing, puts it up. No good. There's there he is again. Easing that board. Out to McCall. Carney playing him tight. Here comes David. Pass on to McDonald. McDonald tells him where to go here. We're going to run a zero play, play Holly. going to play. Here we go. We're settling down the run. Look at has got Holly. his hands out there. He's trying to do a little Holly. pushing. And the Lacole in the There's the corner. Put on him. Back out to Ted. Back out here on the top to Brian Thompson. Back out to Lacole. Over to Thompson. To Lacole. Looking around, eyeing it up. Nothing going there. Look inside once, twice. There's Ted coming around, puts it up. Ted gets his own rebound, puts it up off the glass. No good. We got a fall over the back by Huber. I think Thompson will go to the line. Got to remember that Ted's the left hand. There's something that gets under there. And uh, he gets a little twisted around. It's nice if he uses his right hand, but it's pretty hard, are we? It's only the 14 fall, Phil, so we get possession of the ball. He won't be doing any shooting. I thought maybe he might be. And he has to shooting. There's David put up, put block. Nice, nice take by Clyde. That was a nice That's pass by up. David. Hey, hey David, David, one nice pass. pass. Tonight, you betcha. Here comes Carney, eyeing things up. Over on the left side, Fox puts up a three-pointer. No good. Thompson with the rebound. Bubba Carney, a little short on the shots tonight. Okay, here's LaCole taking across the timeline. McDonald over to Amick on the far side. Amick takes to the inside, passes over to Stein, dribbles in, stops, passes it up off David, brings on, blocked by Seizing, down to Huber. Huber takes it in, no good. But draws the fall on Amick, he'll go to the line to shoot. Nice through. block. I'll tell you that fast break kills us, Howie. Our guards are in too far. We should, one of them should hang around that uh, top of the key a little farther back so they can react quicker. We've given eight points alone and two on free throws. Ten of the 22 points are either on layups or free throws. The Cooper misses the first one. Substitution in for the game. Rupert in for Thompson. The Streaks have a chance to put this ball game away in the first half, but they're just not doing it. They're, they're, the they're making mistakes out there. there. There's Clyde. What a rebound. Over to McDonald. That's just the timeline here. Slowing things down a tad here. How I feel much better with a 20-point lead. Oh, over to Clyde. Clyde stops in the paint, puts it up. No good. He got his own rebound, but there's nobody back now. Here they come. Three on two. Teasing takes it in. No good. Tipped away, teasing back up two points. And with two minutes left to go, it's 35 to 24. 11 point lead for the Speaks. They've all played us this quarter, no doubt about it. Back out to LaCroix with a three pointer. Count it, there's three. 38 to 24, 140 left in the second quarter. Here's Carney over to teasing. 
Easing inside to Erickson. Bergeron loses the ball. Rupert hustles. Tipped off of the... Nice play by Rupert, Owen. He just he couldn't get it. He did his best thing. Ball to off uh, Blue Jacket. Good heads up play by Mike Rupert. Uh. All right, here we go. McCall with the ball, taking his time down the floor. But we all scored him by one point in this half so far. Oh, wait, not much production. Even Steven. Over to McCall. McCall says, I'll take another one. In and out, no good. There's McDonald with the rebound, getting fouled. Well, by Kuchowski, I believe that will be his third foul. Excellent call by the official. That's his own line up. Second personal foul. Mango. Here comes Spencer on the into the game for Carney. McDonald will get two shots. The last minutes of this quarter, this is where we have to play tough basketball, Holly. There's the first one down. 39-24, 15 point lead. There's the second one. 40 to 24. 16 point lead, Holly. I'd like to see 20 at halftime. No doubt about it. Okay, here's Spencer on with the ball over there on the far side. Over to Huber. Huber looking inside to Kurchowski. Oh, the teasing stops, puts up 15 footer, it's down. And that's a shot, Ollie. He's wide open, he can make it. Put a hand in his face. Yeah, you give, you give, him, a, you give him an open shot, he's gonna make it. Good shot. Into Lacroix in the far corner. Over to Christ. Into McDonald underneath. McDonald swings it back out. Got two guys on him. There is into, into Christ. Picks up the ball. That'll go to the line to shoot a one and one. Kipping only plays about six or seven players. Their bench isn't that big. They have a lot of people on the bench, but not that many really play, Holly. They play about seven people. Looks impressive, but we still play the same seven, and you only can play five at a time. Hi, Teddy, it's the front end of the one and one. So, of course, as we all know, what happens, Phil? I think we get another one, Ollie. Very good. It's the second one, 42-26. If we can hold him and get a bucket here, Ollie, I'd be very happy to come out of this with a decent lead. Just he can come back any time. Okay, Spencer Ani puts it into Kachowski. Tindrell puts it up. No good. Rufo rakes off the court. Out to Lacroix. 25 minutes left. I think the streaks are going to go for one shot here. Over to Rupert, Rupert to drive. Over to Lacole, three-point land. Count it, 45-26. I like that so far, but tiny little they gotta stop him right takes here. Takes it in, drives into the basket, puts it down. 45-28. And that's why I said, Howie, they let him go the last second. An excellent effort by the Chisholm Blue Streaks. Before we break for halftime, I'd like to thank Casey's Rexall Drug, Valentini's Supper Club, Greg Auto Parts, Iron Country Realty, John Abramson, Flowers by Dorothy, John Raleigh Logging, Babe Sporting Goods Hibbing, Patrick Valentini, Attorney at Law, Cinco Excavating, Cornix Big Dollar, Dr. Mike Clerk, Chiropractic Services, and a special thanks to Melvin Buderak. I'd like to give you the unofficial scoring for the first quarter. We had Ted Kreis with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16 points. Rupert with 0. Joe McDonald, 2, 5, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19, 21 points. Lacole, 3, 6, 8 points. And I'm not going to give you the score for him. I'm not into it right now.
Bulldozer is now fanning the audience. for tip-off, 34 seconds before tip-off, the second half, the blue streaks, score hasn't changed. 48, 45, 28, 17 point lead. I'd like to wrap it up with uh, Hibbing scoring. Four points for Carney. Matt Ani, three points before he left with an injury. Eight points for Cody Wachowski. Points. Again, for the blue streaks, cries, petty cries, two, four, six, eight, 16, McDonald 21, Lacole 8 points, Thompson, no score. We're ready for the tip off. The blue streaks played a deliberate basketball game, however, they were lapped. Lackadaisical on defense, they scored about 12 to 14 points on the fast break, most of them layups. Roughly 10 points on layups and two points at the free throw line. If they can stop the fast break, we could have a different ball game on our hands. We could have a 20 to 25 point lead. Fans seem to be coming back, Holly's coming back. We're ready for basketball, blue streaks ball. McCool taking out. Here we go. Another 16 minutes of Blue Streak basketball. Okay, LaCroix in the cry. Turn around into McDonald's. Turns off there the we go. The basket, he's fouled. There's no way, Phil, that anybody for Ribbing is going to stay with Joe McDonald on the inside. In fact, I thought to not. myself, this is our second to the last basketball game, and third, well, we've got two more left. Hey, no one's has stopped them all year. Why should Hibby? No, especially now. Like I said, with Rash out of there, they have no, no real height on the inside. It's a piece of cake just about for uh, McDonald or Cries on the inside. I'm not taking anything away from the Hibby players because they do a fine job, but they just they lack the size in that. Uh, they, missed, they missed two key field players out there. We'll admit that. But so did we when we lost in overtime. Okay, here we go. Carney at the top of the key over to Thiesing. He's going to put up there. Oh! He takes it down the floor. 
stop, puts it up. Yeah! He's yeah. off the foul from Carney. What a play. Hey. Well, Fury Dallin, if that isn't a big time play, nothing is. Howie, is, is that basketball? Did you get that on film, Sean? We're going to play that one back for the next two weeks, no doubt about that. Howie, we're going to play that backwards and forwards for about two weeks. You got that. That's basketball. Defense on one side, blocks the shot, takes it all the way down, gets the layup, gets fouled, makes the bucket, goes to the free throw line, makes the free throw. How you know what I like about this job? No one pays me, I can be biased, and I like it. And Spencer, Spencer on you with three, nice looking shot. 50 to 31, 720 left to go in the third quarter. There's McDonald putting up a 25-footer. Caught it. There's three more. There it is on the floor. McDonald. Yeah! Oh, we, we knew it was coming. Go. Down the far side. Over to McDonald. Hey, five feet. Feet. Oh. 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 Tip off a hippie. Chisholm gets the ball. No, they said tipped off the white. Well, I'll tell you, hitting back for that rebound. There we go. 22-point lead by the Blue Streaks. They're seizing three-pointer. Bang, count it. Well, we, we know we can shoot that. Why don't they just stand next to him? He won't drive on him. We're giving him the easy buckets. Okay, here we go. Amy with the ball. The pull cutting through into the corner. Takes it. Back out to McCall, puts up a three-pointer, off the brim, no good, there's Cook! Yes, sir! Good call by the official. Excellent call. Holly, when they make the good call, we'll call it. If it's questionable, we'll say it. And if it's wrong, we'll let everybody know about it. Okay, Thompson into the game. For Amick. There's Carney over there doing a little bacon shake. It's the white it's ball. No doubt about it. Here being Chisholm ball. Yep, he did drag his foot. No doubt about it. You can play that one back, but it's there, Howie. Even the best players make a mistake hey, from time to time. I'm just saying, we call them one way, we call them the other, but we call them the way we see them. Okay, here's Teasing, back out to Spencer, Arnie. Puts his basket, hesitates, back to the Teasing across court to Carney. Carney's been cold, he's not gonna take it. He, unless he Spencer starts driving in a little bit. A little bit, then back out there. Here's Teasing's teasing face, he, he won't take it. Across to Carney, three-point shot, in and out, no good. There's Rupar with the rebound, out to McDonald. 21 point lead for the streaks. That's the timeline. 537 remaining. Uh, calling a play here. We'll go with the ball. Into Ted. Little fake there. Stop. Puts the ball up. And we're Yes, the sir. And there we go. Carney's riding uh, roof. I, the I like these officials. They call them on both ends of the court. Excellent call by the officials. There's Dave McCall, three-point land, no good. It's the Chelsea. And it oh, on. I say, oh! Oh! that ball. Comes McCall, passed on to McDonald. <laughs> they caught him on the line over there, and then we tell Well, I have to say something about Ani. He's only a sophomore. I'll tell you, I like that basketball player. Okay, here's uh, Spencer Ani. Over to Teasing, puts up a 20-footer. It's off. McDonald with the rebound. Behind the back dribble, crossing the timeline. Out here, 20 feet, puts it up, bang, it's down. Three points, count it, folks. They don't get any prettier than that. Enjoy it now. Timeout, Blue Jacket. 454 remaining. Turns on Blue Streaks. 58, 34. Blue Jackets. I'll tell you how it, they missed the Arnie out there, I'll tell you that. But I'll tell you, if, even if they had them, it might be a closer game, but the blue streaks certainly dominate this basketball game. 
Well, they came to play. So we were at practice yesterday, and we watched them, and you and I both know uh, the intensity was there, and they were ready to go. I'll tell you, Coach McDonald was coaching like it was the first game of the season. The basketball players had their game face on. It was business. They might as well wore a three-piece suit, a nice attache case, because they were going to work. And when they left, they showered, went out, had, a, had a, a little burger, and they put in their time. And it shows it right now. Four fifty-four remaining, 58, 34, blue streaks. Okay, here's Spencer Ani at the top three-point line over to Huber. Back out to Ani. The Huber takes inside, back out to Ani. Over to Huber. He eyes it up, takes three-point, air ball, Ted with the rebound, comes out to the court. Oh, he had a lot of glass, no basket. A lot of glass. Ball here. Over to David. We're going to McDonald. Two guys Inside down. the cry. There it is. Oh, it's a look for David. Yes! Three! Oh! There's a steal by David. Pitch it up around. Yes! That's basketball, folks. You know, I'll tell you, I haven't seen guys. anything like this in the last time we beat him. Conant. There's Stentrani with a three point shot. How if you don't guard them, they're going to make them. Hey, I haven't seen basketball like this since we beat them last time. Nice pass inside. There's basketball. What a nice play. McDonald the cries for an easy two. If someone told me to have a 28 point lead, Howie, I wouldn't believe it. Teasing with the ball. Dribbles it on. Takes it in a little bit. Fakes. No, back out to Uber. Over to Spencer on, he puts a little fake on, takes it in. There's an almost impossible shot from the side. There's Clyde coming out of the back with the rebound. Good hustle by Clyde. Over to McCall. David Pickey is trying down across the center of the timeline. Over here to Brian Thompson. Cross court to McDonald. The three-point land. Yeah! But we got a fall over Come on, got caught with their cookie, with their hand in the cookie jar, Holly. I think so. Someone got caught with their hand in a cookie jar. And it wasn't McDonald's stealing chocolate chips. McDonald will go to the line to shoot two. Now we've got to watch out for things that should happen on a basketball court, and I hope they don't happen. With a lead like this, who knows what could happen out there in La La Land. There's the first one, it's down. 29 point lead. 37, 307 remaining. Lead. Streaks dominating. There's the second one, it's down, count it. <laughs> 37 to 67, 30 point lead. 11 minutes left to go in this ball game. Easing over to Carney. Carney will take the shot. He's Carney been held the last two games. Over to Carney. There it is again! Bang. Ew! 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 Stop! Oh! Beautiful block by McDonald. We slapped it back so hard there wasn't hitting the ball anymore, Holly. We have to send that fan to the hospital. Whiplash. Okay, here we go. Spencer on with the ball. Out on top, looking around. Over to Carney. Arnie with the ball, looking around inside, into Spencer Arnie. Arnie pulls up, drives about a shot. Nice shot, shot by a freshman. Excellent shot. That Spencer Arnie is no slug. Nice little basketball out. player. Comes McDonald, over to LaCole. David looking around, back over here to Joel in the corner, two guys on him, in the cries, turn around, jump shot, off the glass, no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up, it's down, Conant, second effort, there we go. There's a lot of determination in the Blue Jackets, but it's just not getting the job done tonight. There's Sadovich taking it in, bouncing out the rim, no good. Pachowski tipping once, twice. Finally, McDonald goes in, gets the rebound. Here comes McDonald on the floor, passes it down into Enoch. That goes to Rupert. McDonald has the ball. Oh, 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 oh,
There's no reason for that type of defense. Oh, they're all sleeping. And it's it's all with a 20-footer. No good. Oh, wait, it's only 833, and they're sleeping on defense. I have a feeling I'm going to hear the fat lady sing sooner than I thought. We haven't heard her for a while. In fact, this game is kind of anticlimactic. You couldn't sleep all night, and now here it is. It's all over but the shouting, and Howie, you don't know what to say. We got Katie by the door. Okay, TZ hits his first of two free throws. Cut your kitchen after the game, Howie. Coffee wow. cost us 16 bucks last time we went. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second one. Ted's up there for that rebound. Out to Joel. Cross timeline on the near side. Two guys on him. Both Spencer, Ani, and Kurchowski double teaming him wherever he goes. Corey likes to put his hand on the hoop. Tony Bonovich missed, missing a few falls out there, but that's all right, Tony, you're doing a good job. Excellent job, Tony. Jack, you can watch this tape sometime. Watch Corey Kuch Kuchowski with his hands all over Joel in the corner. Excellent job, though, referee. I boys. think Bubba's a little shaky to take a shot over I said it all night. He hasn't yeah. been hot last two or three games. Yeah. It's easy to take it in, puts up an off-balance shot. They're going to get... Uh, Price for the fall and blocking fall. I'll tell you, no, it's teasing. If he doesn't shoot on balance, he's even around the bucket, Howie. He's going to be squared up or two dribbles to the bucket. He can drive and shoot at the same time. So he's got some skills to work on in the summertime, as of all basketball players. But I'll tell you, it's nice to play defense against a guy like that. Just get on him. Well, one thing for sure, though, Phil, you cannot give him any kind no. of an open shot with this down. I mean, what he did, he picked up the fall. He's, he'll make his two points. He's going to be an excellent basketball player. Sometimes I forget, Peasy's only a sophomore. Right. And there's, uh, they put Hibbing's got Furlong into the game for Kuchelski now. Peasy hits both of those. Uh, Streaks beams. up by 29. 31. Hibbing with the rebound. Woo! Coming down the close side, Peasy with the ball, stops. Tries right, to put a pass inside, but there's the call. Kick his pocket. They're coming back. Three on two. David takes it into the basket. No good. Carney came up with the ball. Dave, David tried to get out of the way. I'll give Tony Barnovich that ball. I'll give it to him. Yeah, David tried to get out of the way. Yeah. Uh, They're seizing from three-point land. No good. There's Ruth. Nice control of the boys on the end. 17 seconds. 15. On the far side. 14. Up. Oh. 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 shooting at This is a lesson in basketball shooting, Holly. No doubt about it. 42. They're seizing. He'll make that one. Quarter. No. So at the end of the third quarter, 74 to 42 to three seven seven. That's a 31 point lead, Howie. It's hard to believe. Made a few bucks tonight. Chisholm fans show up, makes it profitable. Here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. Alternate possession goes to Hibbing. Ani to Carney. Carney looking inside over in the corner to Seizing. They say it's tipped off the Amick. It's funny how this rivalry attracts people. Howie. I was here Saturday night at 7.15. There were 70 people here. Now there's 2,000. Strange, isn't it? Strange but true. Here we go. Carney with the ball on the far side. Over to Seizing. To Ani. Batted away by Amick. Ani over to Carney. And Carney a little hesitant to take that shot, Howie. He's strong. hesitant. Back out to Ani. Howie over to Kuchelski looking to go to someplace. Tries to get into Sadovich. And we've got a fall here in somebody. Just a little reminder, Howie, we were hit by 14 points at one time in the first game, and we lost the game in overtime, so they couldn't outscore us by 16 points if we had a bad streak, but we still, know, we still can handle this one. Just let everybody know that we were hit by 14 at one time and lost the game. Sadovich at the line for 1-1, uh, one one, hits the first one. That's what I like about Hibbing, they always come back. 
and he hits the second one. So a 7.27 left to go in the fourth quarter. It's 74 to 44, 30 point lead. We'll call it the ball on the far side from three point land. No gut. Sadovich comes down with the rebound. Out to Ani. Ani partially loses the ball, puts up a set shot. No good. Lacole, Lacole coming out of no place. Oh, he had a cry. I don't know where they get that type of defense, oh, but uh, stop, it has to be working. No good there, Grouper. Yeah! Up there, the roof. Two for the roof. Okay, here's Ani with the ball over to Kuchowski. Kuchowski looking around, gets the Blue Jackets have no movement whatsoever. They're standing. Maybe they'll have a half court game. Kuchowski tries to get into Sadovich. Group gets the ball. Out of it, shot the line to shoot a one and one here. Misses the first one. Dipped over to Kuchowski. One fake, two fake. Puts it up off the glass and down. 46 to 76. A little full ball. court press, Holly. He's going to try for a few steals. McDonald taking I don't think it's going to work, but let him line. try it. Back over in the center. He's got two players on him. Takes in there. He gets hammered. Those blue jackets are all over Joel like mustard on bread, I'll tell you. Teasing picks up a ball here. They were so close to them, they were like peanut butter and jelly. Harpo and Marks. Cisco and Ebert. That's how close they were. Howie and Phil. Okay, Joel hits the first one. And the Blue Jackets fans are going wild. About what? I don't know. There's McDonald hitting the second one with 6.17 left to go. The score is 78 to 46. Here comes Kearney down the close side. Looks around. A little reverse pivot move in there. Back over to Spencer. Ani in the corner. Back out to Kearney. Drives in. He's going to get a blocking fall on Amick. He's quick, so Kearney is one quick. Oh, no doubt about it. He'll go to the line to shoot a one and one. And I'll tell you, once they bring Ani back, they're going to have a good chance to go down to the state. They're a real good basketball team, Howie. I like them, but not when they're playing Chisholm. They're dangerous. If they'd have been full strength, it would have been a different story. It'd been a closer ball game. Streaks would have won, but it'd been a closer game. There's Cries with a big rebound there, really getting up in the air, dominating on the board again. Here's David down the far sideline, a little off pass in the head, 12 footer off the rim, no good. Sadovich with the rebound out to Carney. Carney cross timeline, a little stutter step move, 16 foot jumper, it's good. 78 to 48, here comes Lacole. Across the far side, stop, nothing there. Out to Thompson, Thompson back to McDonald. McDonald holds the ball there. A little stutter step, reverse pivot move, a little fake in there, bang, cone it. Okay, a quick was on him like mustard on bread, and he still got it away. Unbelievable. Kuchowski with a miss. Out there, the, street, the streaks are dominating tonight, Howie. It's 845, and we have a 32-point lead. Price stops with a 15 oh. foot oh, good air ball. McDonald tips it out to Lacole for a three point shot. Oh. No good. Gets his own rebound, takes it down the lane, up and in. Cone it. The Blue Jackets are just watching us play basketball. They're not with us anymore. I don't know who's away. McDonald picks it up. Goes all the way, lays up. Two points. Kuchowski with a three pointer. No good. Thompson with the rebound, Don't coming down, the timeline. Over to McDonald, three-point land, it's up, oh. no good. There's Kreis with a nice rebound, puts it up, two more. And with four and a half minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, it's 88 to 48, 40-point lead. And the Chisholm fans are going wild. Let's just go up.
What a wonderful display of Blue Streak basketball. It's a clinic. Are we? We have it on film. It's a basketball clinic. We're in, we're out, we're rebounding, we're fast breaking, we're stuffing the ball. Tonight, tonight, if you're going to watch the Blue Streaks play, watch our film. It'll be on two or three times on Channel 2. Watch for what? Our schedule for so here. Wednesday afternoon. And again, I'd like to reiterate, Holly, we just can't come up with $500 to uh, televise these different games. If you people at home would like to pitch in some money, stop in, see Howie, call me, 254-4136. I'll take your donation. If you want to see the region games, I think the fee is $500, Howie. Region, but this Okay, way. here's Hibbing with the ball, seizing. Out to space to Arnie, you you over to Carney. Carney looking over, around. You want to pay the, the thousand now? Over here to seizing, seizing yeah. looking inside. Nothing well, we're just we're informed. To we're going to make a correction. Around. There will be no broadcasting of any district or region games. The cost per game is $1,000, which I think you should write. Who's the district for many people? He's in charge. Thompson over to LaCour. Nice spin move. Stop. Right to State High School. Is this ridiculous? He's the cry. It's an off with high school basketball. $1,000 a game is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Now, how are we talking about the game? I'm talking about TV rights. That's the fifth personal foul on Carney. Carney played a wonderful floor game. Thirty-five, Jackson Kerr. Twenty-three, Brian Stoutman. Fifty-one, Steve Buck. And another fifty-five, Jeremy Clemmings. Gibbons putting in the second string now, Phil, with 337 left to go. We're at 88 to 50. team comes in, there's not going to be many points scored, I'll tell you that. I hope they go out there and play a decent floor game, the subs. Come on, B team. There's Thompson, this one, 87 to 50. Getting passing around the ball, around, working it to the inside. Number 55, this is what I'm saying, the hallway hope he gets the production out of the B team tonight. There's Andy Bobert, yeah! Three points, count it! Three points. 90 to 52. saying anything we're watching the game if you look out there except for uh mike grouper there's your uh next year's team howie right down to the rebound coming down up to the behind him and a bit rusty a bit rusty <laughs> Giving Mike Wilfer and Joy Amick a nice deserving hand as they come out of the game. The 215 left to go to the game, 90 to 52. Hipping fans are starting to leave. 
Chiquetto down. Got Chiquetto with the ball, fakes, gives it off to Andy. Andy starts driving into the paint and takes it back out. Over to Scott Chiquetto. Nice move around by Rogers. By Justin Rogers. Brian Thompson. Gets takes it around. Nice Fakes move. No Zion cramps up a little bit, rebound. but a little air ball. One twenty eight remaining. Blue streaks 90, 50 to the Blue Jackets. A 38 point deficit. Okay, here comes Scotty Chiquetto across the timeline. Over to Bober, to Chiquetto. Over to Thompson, the fake. Travel. Yep, that's a good call. I like that one. That's what happened. He got caught. Forgot to take the suitcase, did a little traveling. Didn't know where he was going. Watson, what do you think? He doesn't think. Complete victory tonight. Brilliant. <laughs> One thing I don't like having the B team in hallway, it takes a long time for the game to get over with. Well, it's pretty hard coming off the bench after sitting for three and a half quarters, so when you're cold and low stiff, it takes you a while to warm up there, and it's tough. Again, I'd like to reiterate that all district games are $1,000 a game. We had some rich friends out there. We could show at least the championship if we got into the District 28 and the championship of the region if we got that far. Maybe we can raise $2,000. Those games would be worth televising if we got that far. Of course, the state we don't have to worry about on TV already. 42 seconds remaining, 90 to 54, 36 point lead for the streak. Air ball, nice pass. Oh, what a beautiful pass. Hi, what a pass by that boulder, eh? There's a different beauty. For all your Italian needs when it comes to his cuisine, it's Valentini Supper Club. For the finest in Italian cuisine, stop in. Say hi to Bruno and Mike. They'll serve you well. Valentini Supper Club. Chisholm. I don't know why they call it holding. He tripped over the other guy's feet. But that's a popular call. Who's he holding? I didn't see anybody out there. Oh, wait, who'd you see him holding out there? Nobody I call else. tripping. I call tripping. Okay, Rogers was 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, Bacon, Sox, 9, Thompson puts 8, up the bomber, 7, 6, 5, 4. Four seconds. Four seconds. Well, that's right, over with hey, Holly. That's right, 93 to 54. We're going to have a little wrap up, Sean. Right now, we want to get out of here, put the tape on TV, look for it on, if you're going to watch it tonight, Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Wednesday at 4, and tonight at 9.30. The totals for tonight's basketball game. Ted cries, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, oh, it's all told up, 24 for cries. Rupar, two. Joel McDonald, 43. David Lacoe, 17. Thompson, one. Bober, three. 
And you skipped somebody here, girls. Didn't write their name down. I can't help you. For the arena.